Next up, two hurdles to go, will be race number seven, the penultimate race of the day, due off at 1,600 hours, over 2,000 meters. And just looking at the seventh race, another one of those races where the fillies and mares will do battle. It is a 90 divided handicap for the fillies and mares. The gross stake 100,000 and they'll be all looking to get that first prize of 62,500. A horse like number four, Southern Songs, coming off a victory at 33 to 1 last one and came back from a lengthy absence from the Michael Azzi stable to get the job done. You got number one, Opera Glass. Number two, Ballroom Bliss is in good form at the moment. And then Deezer's horse number three, Snow Palace. I've managed to catch this grey from the Cornet Spiss stable right on the occasions when she wins at big prices. Mm. She's once again at a big price and she's one of those horses, if you look at her overall rating she was a 108 once upon a time and she just keeps you interested every now and again yeah it's all about you know trying to catch the right wave at the right time as you mentioned and if you get it right well she's always going to be value for you she's a big price as well so you know if uh, she's got a mind on the job we know how she goes she jumps she tries to set the fractions up front if she remains unchallenged and gets things her own way she could run all the way to the line it looks like a very tricky race. I've taken a bold stance here in the PA. I know there's lots of form to work around. You'll see when you go to my shortlist. I'm actually going to bank her this horse number seven, Kind Judy, in the place to accumulate. I think she's honest. She's a trier. She's nicely weighted, uh, being a six-time winner. There's 55 and a half on her back. You're always going to get an honest run for your money. And I think uh, just for the place to accumulate, uh, Pick six, uh, you're going to have to be the judge here. You know, Sheldon's tipping a horse that's 20 to 1. Number three, Snow Palace, tells you what he thinks of the race. And I think many will take, uh, you know, possibly, if you can go short in any of the other legs, maybe you can go the, the field in this leg here. But I'm going to go with Kind Judy as a PA banker. Pick six and jackpot. I will suggest uh, play as wide as your budget will allow. I think so. And a horse like number seven, Khan Judy, who is currently trading at four to one. It's amazing how a change of scenery oh. and environment in that can change a horse because she was struggling in KwaZulu Natal. She looked like she was going to probably win one race in her career. And you now look at her as a six time winner. Yeah, and then you know, now you're going to see a lot of these horses that have been bought off these dispersal sales, Sean Terry. Paul Peters having a big one, all of them going to different yards. And you could possibly see form turnarounds with most of those runners as well. You know, some may go up, some may go down, we don't know. But it's going to be an interesting time for those big population of horses that are on the move. Definitely times to look forward to and hopefully when they run and they come out, if you catch the right ones on the right day, you'll find some value. And the ones that go by the wayside, just wait till they find their form. So these is all in with number seven, Khan Judy, looking for that seventh career victory. An amazing individual who's really climbing the ladder and she won't let you down with another honest performance.